hello everyone so the purpose of this video is to help anyone who is planning to participate in smart india hackathon in 2025 or uh, in the uh, upcoming years so fortunately uh, me and my team we were the winners in 2024 and uh, honestly it was not uh, just one factor that made this happen and it was combination of a lot of things together uh which is obviously uh the great teamwork uh mentorship then like hard work dedication and you know consistency so in this video i will be taking you through the whole journey of uh, how you can also approach uh, sih and how you can uh, you know take it stage by stage from uh, actually forming your team to choosing the right problem statement and how to tackle both internal and external rounds in sih then also finally what kind of matters in the end so the very first step is uh, team formation and honestly it is the most crucial one remember sih is not just a two day hackathon and you will be working with these people for the next 4 to 5 months so don't just pick your friends for your convenience and really think uh, about who will play what role in the team and uh, avoid one thing that is uh, don't just think uh, who is a good coder or just don't think about the technical skills here um so ideally according to me what a team should have is uh, someone who is good with uh, back end and integrating stuff like A apis or databases in general and tech stack doesn't matter here so yeah next is uh, someone who is good with ui ux stuff because that is something uh, that is being evaluated at a lot of stages um you know further uh who someone who can create uh, presentations great presentations uh, who is you know good creatively and can edit videos then someone who can you know uh, basically having a couple of people who are uh, you know very confident speakers they can present their ideas very clearly can answer questions under pressure and uh, alongside one more important thing to have is a mentor now this is uh, something which is not compulsory but can always give you an advantage a mentor can be from your college or anyone uh, a working professional in the industry so they can help you refine your solution in and you know keeping you on track and preventing you from uh, you know going in the wrong direction so yeah definitely try to have someone's uh, guidance and a third person's perspective also and in short uh, writing is not just about good coders or people who are good technically it's a combination of all things together uh, which is technical skills great communication you know designing and creativity and everything uh, together so the next step is the problem statement selection and this is where most of the teams struggle and uh, i can completely understand if you're someone who's participating for the first time uh, this could, this step could be a little overwhelming uh so first thing what you should do is start exploring the official sih website go through all the problem statement in detail and pick something which excites you or you know you find interesting there uh shortlist multiple of them don't restrict yourself uh, when it comes to the domain uh, apart from that uh one really helpful resource i would like to suggest which is um dev post so it's basically a platform where you can explore ongoing online hackathons which keep happening and look at the past winning projects it's basically there is something i also did so it will give you an idea of what kind of problems people are solving and you know uh, what made those projects kind of you know stand out so you will once you explore those projects you will also notice something that it is uh, not just about the technology but it is it was also about the uniqueness or the real world impact those solutions uh, bring to the table and that is what uh, made them the winners there so one more important thing that i would like to highlight here is that in sih for each problem statement once you get selected after the internal round uh, there is a limit of 500 submissions per problem statement so uh, most common domains like healthcare agriculture um, gets you know uh, filled up really fast so that doesn't mean that you should completely avoid those domains but just keep in mind that um in my case we had also shortlisted like four to five ideas but then finally we chose space technology because uh, not just because we wanted to choose something different but like we felt that that domain had massive potential because there were not a lot of solutions already existing there so in my advice even if you go with a common domain make sure that your solution st stands out because remember uh, in every stage evaluators will be you know evaluating a lot of projects on the same day in the same uh, time frame so you know your project or the problem statement your abstract should 
you know uh, make them go like oh this is, this sounds interesting or this is something new so yeah above all whichever problem statement you choose to go with just keep one thing in mind that you should not be solving a problem for the sake of solving it right your problem that you're solving should be real uh, the solution that you uh, bring to the table should be you know should make sense and you should be able to uh, imagine some actual users uh using it and benefiting like benefiting from it so because only if you are convinced about your solution uh, you will be able to convince others so for the internal rounds in most colleges there are one to two rounds in my case there were two rounds first one was online and the second one was a in person pitch so in these rounds they are mostly going to look at uh, what your uh, problem is what you're solving then uh, what is your solution how is it different from the existing ones then how practical is it and is it really feasible to make that solution so i would like to like to suggest a flow which you can follow for your presentation so start with one short very crisp like slide for problem statement uh, you can highlight some stats or some use some real world case study or a real world example to highlight what the problem is why it should be solved uh and everything try to keep it very short then uh next directly jump on to showing your uh, prototype or a short partially working demo it's completely fine if it is not fully uh, functional show them something which will give them an idea of how this product will look like once um you know it's actually made so this is where you will capture their attention and uh, once you're done showing your prototype after that you can uh, talk about the real world impact of this solution how people will be able to benefit from this uh, how how do you plan to scale it in future and uh, you know why is the solution actually needed so like trust me most of the teams in your college in my college will show their uh, solutions through presentations or uh, slides so if you show something like really working or even if it is a partial prototype you will stand out from the crowd immediately and uh, one bonus tip is that don't shy away from using any of the ai tools or the no code low code platforms uh, that we all know because that will make your uh, prototyping uh, process super easy and you will be able to make it really quick so because the evaluators at this stage especially won't care about how you made the uh, you know the prototype but they will care about what you were able to deliver and what your solution is so same goes with the ppt also try to keep it very like visual and not very text heavy so um, i will uh, link a few tools in the description for both uh, presentation and also uh, tools which can help you in prototyping also so once you clear your internal round uh, you will be amongst the 45 uh, shortlisted uh, teams who will be making the submission for finals so here at this stage the ppt matters a lot because this is their only way of evaluating if you will reach the grand finals or not so uh, how you can approach is that uh, the you will be using the same ppt which you created in your internal rounds now what you have to focus on is refining it a lot and keeping in mind that every piece of content which you put in your ppt should be very much self explanatory because you won't be there to pitch your idea or explain them anything so that is one thing so what my team did was we created two really short videos first one was a problem statement video in which we uh, like visually tried to explain the problem statement like for example we just included a very short clip of uh, someone's uh, interview uh, in their interview they were highlighting the importance of the problem statement and everything so you can also do something of that sort and uh, the second one was the the demo video of the working uh, prototype so yeah why exactly you need to do all this is that the competition here is very very high and it's very intense so imagine like you have 500 submissions in your problem statement and only five teams get will get shortlisted for the finals so it's almost like a 1 is to 100 ratio or in some cases it could be even more worse so you have to do something really extra to stand out from the crowd so once you are done making your submission for the finals don't just sit idle or wait for the results to come out because it usually takes a while so in our case we wanted to work on and actually build the project irrespective so we started and we divided the work uh, someone was working on the ui uh, because mine was in the ai ml domain we started working on the data collection model training and those things and then one most very important thing that you which you cannot ignore and have to spend a lot of time on is research
like you have to read the existing research papers existing re- solutions or you know understand the domain in which you are working in inside out because uh, in case you actually like get through the finals you the evaluators will not just evaluate your product they will also look into your domain knowledge like they will want to see like if you really know what you're talking about so that is something which is really important because research will not only help you build your product but it will also give you the confidence to answer a lot of tough questions later so yeah that is all about the whole process i really hope this reaches people who genuinely um, need this uh, even if i was able to help few of you guys uh, my purpose is fulfilled because that was my intention uh, i'll also be uh, attaching a few pictures from my sai journey uh, just to give you a glimpse of uh, my experience in case i have missed out on any, any topic or any of your doubts you can drop a comment or reach out to me on linkedin as well so yeah i wish you all a very best and hopefully some of you guys watching this win this year or in the upcoming years so yeah thank you so much for watching